When planning a Myrtle Beach vacation, there is a lot to consider. Of course, you've got the gorgeous beaches and all of the Grand Strand, but there are a lot of entertainment options and other things to do in Myrtle Beach. Hi, I'm Carmen, and I'm going to share with you the ultimate Myrtle Beach travel guide. Almost everything we mention in this video, we also have detailed videos of, and I will link those in the description below. Let's get started right away with one of the biggest entertainment venues at Myrtle Beach, Broadway at the Beach. As the name may imply, there are of course some shows at Broadway, but that has a lot more to offer. There's dining, rides, arcade, of course, lots and lots of shopping. There's even a hotel on the property. And they also have a lot of entertainment, both during the day, but especially at night. They have a lot of roaming entertainment, especially during peak tourist season. So you won't run out of anything to do at Broadway at the Beach. And there's something for everyone. It really does have a lot to offer. The entire entertainment and shopping complex is built around a lake, so it's lovely to walk around. They do have speedboat rides that are in the middle of the lake. They also offer free fireworks certain times of the year, and it's a really spectacular show. A similar entertainment option is Barefoot Landing. Barefoot Landing is actually technically in the city of North Myrtle Beach, but it's very close to the border with Myrtle Beach. Barefoot Landing is also built around a lake, but it has more of a marshy feel to it. It's a beautiful complex as well. They have the similar shopping, dining, entertainment shows. There are fewer rides at Barefoot Landing, but they also have something that Broadway doesn't, which is the Intracoastal Waterway. And if you happen to be an avid boater, they do have parking for your boats there as well, which makes that somewhat unique. Also, they have something nearby at Barefoot Landing called Alligator Adventure, which we definitely recommend. It's a zoo-like option on a smaller scale. They do have a lot of animals besides alligators, and it's fun for the whole family. What's your favorite thing to do in Myrtle Beach? Leave a comment below. You've heard me mention shows at least a couple of times now. Myrtle Beach is known for having a lot of shows and those type of performing entertainment options. And there's House of Blues and Alabama Theater that you have at Barefoot Landing. Also, Broadway has shows such as a magic show and also a Cirque style show. And then there are also other venues as well. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Golf is also a huge and popular reason to come to Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach is home to many world-class golf courses, as well as if you like the miniature golf or smaller end of golfing, they have a ton of, again, world-class putt-putt courses. Definitely something for everyone, whether you enjoy regular golf or miniature golf, also known as putt-putt. Another great attraction that's at Broadway at the beach and that's worth mentioning on its own is the Ripley's Aquarium. Ripley's Aquarium is a really amazing aquarium complex. They do have a penguin habitat, jellyfish exhibit, touch tanks, and other aquatic exhibits and shows. We can't recommend this enough. It's one of our favorite attractions at Myrtle Beach. Also in the Ripley's families of attractions, but down at the boardwalk, which we'll talk about more in a moment, they have the Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium, as well as a Ripley's Mirror Maze and a Ripley's 5D Theater. If you're more into the nature side of entertainment, check out the Myrtle Beach State Park, which is just south of Myrtle Beach. And also, if you're willing to drive a little south, you can visit Brook Green Gardens and also Huntington Beach State Park. Myrtle Beach offers a lot in the way of rides. Whether you're into extreme thrill rides or you're looking for family-friendly rides, they have it all. Broadway at the Beach has two different sections of rides that range from everything from extreme thrill rides to family-friendly rides. There's also the Family Kingdom theme park, which is in the south end of the main strip of Myrtle Beach. They have all different types of rides, from a old wooden roller coaster all the way to regular swings and everything in between. There's also a newer amusement park called Funplex that's also off of Ocean Boulevard on the main strip, and they have a variety of rides as well. And of course, you can't forget the Myrtle Beach Skywheel. Skywheel gives panoramic, gorgeous views of Myrtle Beach. 
Myrtle Beach is also known for its shopping. In addition to Barefoot Landing and Broadway at the Beach, which have a lot of shopping, there's also two separate Tanger Outlet shopping centers, as well as the Coastal Grand Mall and some other shopping options. If you're into arcades, there are a lot of offerings at Myrtle Beach. There's Dave & Buster's, which is at Broadway at the Beach. Also, the Boardwalk has two different arcades, which are oceanfront off the Boardwalk, which gives some gorgeous views. And there's also the Myrtle Beach Pinball Museum. Speaking of the boardwalk, Myrtle Beach has a beautiful boardwalk area that's about 1.7 miles. There are a lot of different entertainment and shopping and dining options right off of the main boardwalk. Plus, of course, you have the gorgeous beach and all those wonderful boardwalk views. You can't come to Myrtle Beach without enjoying some great food. There are so many dining options, I couldn't even begin to mention them all. Everything from seafood buffets, oceanfront dining, bar restaurant venues, and everything in between. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.